there. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. And going back to something that we haven't done for a while. Yeah, what's that? It's a Who Did It Better episode. Yes. So we used to do these every five episodes when we first started the channel. And um, it's a little bit different of a format for us. Normally what we do is we take the same colors and we do a different technique. Yes. But in Who Did It Better, we do the same technique and we choose different colors. Yes. And all that we ask is that you wonderful people out there in YouTube land, let us know who you think did it better. It's very healthy competition. It's always very tongue in cheek. Yes. We don't really mind who you think is going to do better out of the two of us. <laughs> but it is totally up to you. And please, it's very, no, don't let any of us sway you in any way. So um, please pick whoever you think did better. Whatever composition speaks to you, whatever colors speak to you. Um, it's all a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. And we've chosen to do Dutch, Dutch pours. So, um, we are not masters of Dutch pours by any shape or means. But they're fun. They're so fun. Yeah. It's very, very technical technique in the fluid art world. Yes. They're not easy. They're not easy. So we're going to give them a go. Yeah. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We love you being here with us. And if you're chatting to us on this premiere as well, hello there <laughs> and welcome. And um, we've got a couple of things just to tell you about real quick. So the 8th of August, yes. this coming Sunday, is going to be the online auction. It's going to be right here in YouTube land. We're going to do a live auction starting everything at one dollar. One dollar? One dollar! <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. And um, we actually are also just going to tack on shipping. That's the only other thing. So if you win an auction for a dollar, you just pay the shipping charge and that exactly. piece is yours. Exactly. Now, this auction is only open to those wonderful people in America. In the US. North yeah. America. And the reason for that is that the shipping charges to ship our pieces international are astronomical. Astronomical. Ridiculously high. We try to send something to New Zealand once and we, got, we were getting quotes from FedEx and UPS for like three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. We've spent a lot of time researching some really cost effective options, but then they don't always guarantee that the piece is going to get to where they <laughs> say they're going to be. Right. And we just sent something through USPS to the UK and it took four months. <laughs> four so months. listen guys, we really do love the fact that we've got some international viewers, but to ship our pieces internationally will probably cost in excess of two, three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. So it just isn't cost effective for us to allow you guys the chance to bid, unless you really wanna pay that. All we ask is that you reach out to us before Sunday and let us know you're gonna bid. And we can even try and find out some costs of yeah. shipping for you. Yeah. But everyone else, Fair game. Please keep bidding. And then the only other thing to let you know about is on August the 15th, one week later, we're going to do our one year anniversary yeah. episode. That is where it's we're going to... so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to paint, then we're going to auction off that piece, and then we're going to have a super chat, super sticker giveaway as well. Yes. More about that after this week's auction is over. So let's do this. Let's get to the table and start painting these Dutch pause because we really want to know who did it better. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> hey guys, it is Jeremy here, and I'm so excited about today's Who Did It Better pour uh -huh. with us doing as beautiful Dutch pours that we got here for you. Um, Can you remember the last time we did a Who Did It Better? I don't remember the last time we did a Months. Who Did It Better. It's been so long. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why I'm really excited about Me this. Too. I know, and I, I'm absolutely loving all the colors that we have picked out today. I love Lee's colors, I love my colors. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't I go ahead and introduce you to them. Let's do that. So I have Cobalt Green by Goldens. Delish. Yes. I have Green Gold by Goldens. Mm -hmm. I have Naples Yellow by Liquitex Basics. Lovely. I have... Um, Antique Copper by Treasure Gold. We love that color. That's a folk art. So plummy. Yes. And then uh, I also have folk art, Aunt Treasure Gold, Aquamarine. Mm -hmm. I'm loving those. So the whole uh -huh. basis of who did it better, and that isn't rattlesnakes in the background, by the way, it's cicadas. cicadas. So you've only got this for a few more weeks and then they're gonna go back to sleep for 17 years again. Anyway, <laughs> the whole premise of who did it better is that we use 
different colours, but the same technique. Yes. Because normally we use the same colours and different techniques. Yeah. And this time you're telling us who did a Dutch pour better. Yes. Mm. And also for my base coat, I have white and I mixed ocean green by Master's Touch in with this. So I hope you can, yeah, you it's can tell this. It's a delicious minty green. It's such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Um, so I am going to go ahead and get started. You're going to flood your base coat. I'm going to flood my base coat. While you do that, I'm going to tell everyone about the consistency of this paint. Why not? Because it is very different than our normal. Sure. So whereas, as Jeremy puts this on his canvas, you'll see that it is particularly runny. It is what we call our like thin consistency. If you go and watch episode number 54, which is our recipe making video, we have two main recipes here in the studio. We have our everything else recipe, which is 25% gloss medium, 25% paint, and then 50% flow troll. That pouring kind of consistency will do everything from straight pours to ring pours to rep rings to wing pours to um, wandering straight pours and ring pours. Pretty much everything else is why it's called everything else. Yes. This consistency today is our Dutch pour consistency, what we call our thin consistency. This one consists of 25% paint, 25% water and 50% flow troll. So the main difference here being that we substitute the gloss medium for water. And what that does is it makes it a really thin consistency. Now this consistency then we use for Dutch pours because it really allows the paint to slip and slide across the canvas. And we also use this for swipes. And Jeremy will use something very, very similar to this for his leaky cups. So when you're pouring through something, like a leaky cup or even like a strainer or that kind of stuff. Um, we find that a thinner consistency will definitely help depending on the size of the holes. So this one is the thin consistency in all of these pots, including the base coat. This is mixed 25% paint, 25% water and 50% flow troll. Okay guys, so I got my, my base coat flooded down. Your minty green. My minty green. And okay. so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and- Start layering. Start my layering. So I think I'm gonna start with the, okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start layering my, uh, my canvas now. I'm going to do, I think, a line this way and then a line this way. Ooh, okay. Yes. That sounds awesome. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful antique copper. I love that plummy color. I know. Such a wonderful, like, deliciousness. Oops, I kind of went a little low down here. Low, low, low. Yeah, a little low, but that's okay. That's okay, that'll get It'll get blown off. out, yeah, absolutely. Totally blown out. Yep, yep, yep. So. One down, four to go. Yes. Next, I think I'm gonna go with the, yes. I'm gonna go with this Naples, Naples yellow. Naples yellow hue. Who is Hugh? And why is he next to Naples yellow? Right. Okay, stunning. Yes. Then I'm gonna go with this. That's the uh, the cobalt green. Yes, the cobalt green is next. I'm wondering if I should do it this way and do the green gold. Green gold. Whoops. This is the cobalt green. 
That one is aquamarine. Yes, I love this aquamarine. You got it. Now we have a, we have a choice of hair dryers because we've got three in the studio. Yes, that we, we use. do. We do. And you're using this bad boy. I am. I'm going to use this guy right here. Okay. And, and I'm going to be very careful. Are you thinking about how you're going to blow this one out? I, you know what? I think I'm going to start blowing it out right here okay. and go this way first and then come up this way. Okay. Like, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So is it now hair dryer blowing time? It is hair dryer blowing time. Dutch, pour it out, big boy. Okay guys, so I don't know exactly what happened. I think that my paints were maybe, I didn't have enough base coat down. I think I tilted too much of my base coat off and it made it really difficult to blow my colors as you saw. Um, so I think that's where I went wrong. I'm now going to use my little blower to maybe try to get some- Accents. Accents, like to try to just kind of see what happens. I gotta say though, I do love what's happening. I loved how the like, the, I love how the Naples almost looks like gilding, you know, Got like it. throughout the composition. I think all you really need to do is just, is just mix it up just a tad, but I don't think it was a fail.
Okay guys, so I actually, I'm liking what happened. I don't think it's a fail. No. I, I think that it just, it, the base coat wasn't thick enough. There wasn't enough base coat. There wasn't enough base coat. It's not that the base coat wasn't thick enough. You yeah. mean thick in terms of volume. Yeah, volume. Yeah. Yeah. But I do like what happened. I'm loving the colors. I love the colors. Honestly, I'm really loving the colors. There's a lot of it spread out. Um, I would have liked it just to be a little bit more compact, but... I don't like it the way really? it is. Yeah, yeah I do. Okay. And I really love that Naples yellow in there. Okay. And I love the base coat mm -hmm. color. Oh my You're God. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. But yes, I'm loving what happened. I actually really like this. Yeah, me too. I don't dislike it. No. Um, I think so resin is really awesome. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it, I think. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I thought about just blowing this back a little bit. No, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it as is because I could fuss with this all day. Every day. <laughs> so, all right, guys, this is my Dutch pour. Let's take you in for a close-up. Absolutely. ladles and jelly spoons so on this who did it better we've got a task for you guys and that is to tell us who did it better in the comments <laughs> and uh, jeremy just poured a really wonderful dutch pour but i get to go second to a slight advantage can see what he did and maybe make some minor tweaks one of the things that i know he struggled with although he still got a really wonderful composition was i think he tilted off too much of his base coat so i might just try and keep a little bit more on here than I normally would do. Um, in a Who Did It Better, we do the same technique, but use different colors. So let me show you the colors that I'm working with. And I've got four of the Masters Touch acrylics here. This is the base of my base coat. Uh, sorry, this is the base of my color palette. So I've got, starting from here, rouge. I've got light purple. I've got ocean green and I've got light olive green. Really love those colors. Then I have the DecoArt Extreme Sheen in pink tourmaline, and I have the DecoArt Americana Metallics. This is pewter. So these are my two metallic colors. Now, I also mixed a base coat, if you can see it in here. It's this kind of really wonderfully, lovely, almost lilac-y color. But this started off as white, with a little bit of permanent violet dark in it and then a little bit of the ocean green. So I just mixed two of the colors that I had on the table together and that's, this gave me this really wonderful base coat color. Now, just like Jeremy, all these paints are mixed to the thin consistency, which is 50% Floetrol, it's 25% paint and 25% water. So it's exactly the same consistency that Jeremy had so let's get to flooding this canvas and then we can start layering these really awesome colors on here. So if you give me a, just one second, I'll get this canvas flooded. Oh my gosh, anyone out there who thinks that a Dutch pour is easy, you're crazy. Um, the only person that I, or the only people that I know that make this look easy is like Rinsker and Canella and Tammy and Molly, because it's such a complicated technique of too much base coat, not enough base coat, thin paint consistency, right. thick paint, it's, like, it's crazy. But we're gonna do this, okay. So I've got my wonderful base coat down. I took it out of a really pink shade because it looked a bit like Pepto-Bismol at one point. So um, hopefully that doesn't look like Pepto-Bismol anymore. Let's get layering. I think I'm gonna start off first with my rouge. Mm. And um, let me think about how I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do it similar to the way that Jeremy had it, but a slightly different. So 
not quite so high. Ooh. Pretty. But heavy handed on that second swipe, I'll have to remember that. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the pewter because this is a bad boy and I'm gonna go really sparingly with this. Because this one tends to take over if you allow it. Okay, let's go in with the ocean green. I feel like I'm not putting enough colour on now. A little bit more of that one, I think. Okay, yeah, then I'm gonna go in with the really light purple. And I'm gonna do the pink tourmaline. Now this light olive green on the top. Ooh. Woo! Okay, there is my paints. Now, slightly differently to Jeremy as well because this is only a small canvas. This is a 14 by 18 inch that we've got that's gallery wrapped and pinned. I'm gonna use Pinky because Pinky's just got a slightly smaller nozzle on the end. Just as much power, but, a, but it's a bit more compact. So this is the one we're gonna try now. I'm also gonna do mine differently. I'm gonna go this way first and then do the, the branch. Got it. So that is my plan, sir. Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't know if I am, <laughs> but I've come this far, so I might as well do it. Okay, let's do this. Hmm. Okay. What are you thinking, sir? I'm kind of loving it. I love that green. Yeah, I don't hate it at all. It's starting to sell, which I'm really loving. You know, such a balancing act between using not enough paint and too much paint. Um, there's a lot of paint on this canvas. I think this is an area that I would just love to try and maybe fix a little bit. Um, but what I would really want to do is just kind of create some more separation between the two colors. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Just use a little bit of your paint. To yeah, because like... I still have a little bit left here. Do you want a straw or anything to blow it? No, I just used my talkie hole instead. Okay. Yeah, we got it. That was all I really wanted to do. I just wanted to create a little bit more separation between those two prongs, if you like. All right, I'm done. I'm not gonna fuss with this anymore. Um, I like the way that the colors have blended. 
I really do love that pop of that lime green on the I top. It's so pretty. Um, I like the fact that I've got some lacing and some cells, and that's definitely the pink tourmaline and the pewter mixing. I kind of, I wish it was a little bit more delicate, but that was just me throwing down too much paint. But I really love what happened on this one. So I'm going to get my edges, and I'll be taking you guys in for a close up. Thanks, guys. So sure you believe me But if I mean to show So there you have it, folks. There you have it. What did you think? Who do you think did it better? Who do you think did it better? Um, so let me talk, let's talk about the pieces. What do you think okay. about yours? Okay. I thought mine was really, really good. I really love the colors that I chose. Um, very like floral and bright and like soft. And I really, really liked it. I really liked the composition of it. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that, uh, I thought it came out great. I thought your Naples yellow hue added this like, almost like a gilding effect yeah, to the composition. Did. It was so pretty. We're always really hard on ourselves when we do Dutch <laughs> pours because yeah. our benchmark is Rinska, Molly, Canella, you know, Tammy, <laughs> these like queens of the Dutch exactly. pours. And we're not anywhere near their prowess when it comes to these. I really loved mine too. Yeah. I'm glad we did like fun base coat colors. I know. I loved the way that my colors blew out. I just had too much paint. I think I kind of in my head saw something a little bit more delicate. I did too. I, same here. Yeah. I think I had too much paint on mine. Right. It blew out a little bit more than what I wanted to, right. but I still love it. I loved it too. Those pinks, those purples, and that hit pop of that green for me was really yeah. stunning. And I have someone in mind that's going to get this piece. Yeah. Mm, I'm not going to tell you who because okay. it's going to be a little surprise. Mm. But if you're out there watching, because I know that you do, and you are a member of the family, this one is coming to you. Um, so there you have it. Please let us know in the comments who you felt did better because it is a who did it better episode and uh, we'll tally those up and then at some point in the next few episodes we'll let you know who yes. won so guys thank you so much for being here yeah thank you for following us and watching us on this journey and if you haven't already please like and subscribe we'll see you back here on friday night for another fun episode. Exactly. All right, guys, we'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Bye, have a great week, everyone. So we want to take a moment to spank... Spank? <laughs> <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> Larry. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our... Patreons. Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you are invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So there are some people that we would very much like to thank, and that's our Massey Posse. Or yes. the MPs, as we like to call them. So at the gold level, we've got Mary Doulas. We've got Amy Gardner, a.k.a. Crafty Chicken Mom. Crafty Chicken Mom. We've got Linda Serian. We have Nate Bright. Gloria Salicki, who we like to call Glitzy. We've got Terry Leshner. We've got Donna Patterson. Stephanie Hancock. And Trisha West. Now, at the Platinum level, we have Donna Panis, we have Janice and Steve Pittman, and we have Leslie Beaver. And 
at our diamond level, our one and only. You all know her, you will all love her, we do too. <laughs> it is Sparkles. Sparkles. Laurie Finzer is our diamond pourer. So to all you guys and everyone else that's listed down below, thank you so very much. We really do genuinely appreciate you wanting to be a Patreon and a Massey pourer. And uh, yeah, we look forward to sharing more of this journey with you all. Thank you guys. Thanks guys.